be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Do you think that the country will see the first, the United States will see the first gay president or the first woman well, we president? We have it with Obama, so let's just calm down. Got it. You know Michelle is a trans. Uh, I'm sorry, she's a what? A transgender. We all know. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Being president is a serious job. So Walking and I holding walk hands. With my husband Michael and hold hands. I walk holding hands. With my husband Michael and hold hands. It's like a whole new world for me. Just walking and holding hands. Being president is a. We don't need a Messiah. All we need are decent, honest, hard-working people. You, you, you had legislation uh, uh, reaffirming that in God we trust is our motto? Yes, we can. Thank you, say. Thank you, say. tax loopholes that help billionaires pay a lower tax rate than teachers and nurses. I've said it before, I will say it again, we can't balance the budget on the backs of the very people who have borne the biggest brunt of this recession. Everyone's going to have to chip in. That's only fair. That's the principle I'll be fighting for during the next phase of this process. or 40 and slip. Believe me, as a busy single mother, uh, or I should say single, as a busy mother. First Lady Michelle Obama stumbled on her words, referring to herself as a single mom. Senator Obama asked me if I was referring to Coke, and I stated I was. After stating I was, Obama stated he could purchase cocaine for me and then made a telephone call. This tool is significant from a cell phone to a presently unknown individual during which Senator Obama arranged the cocaine purchase. Senator Obama and I then departed the bar in my limousine and proceeded to an unknown location where Senator Obama exited the limousine with $250 which was provided to him by me. Returned a short while later with an eight ball of cocaine which he gave to me. I did ingest a couple of lines of cocaine, and shortly thereafter, Senator Obama produced a glass cylinder pipe and packet of crack cocaine from his pocket. Obama then smoked the crack cocaine. I performed fellatio on Senator Obama in the limousine during the time Senator Obama was smoking crack cocaine, after which I had the driver take me to my hotel, the Comfort Suites, Gurney, Illinois. The following day, November 7th, 1999. Senator Obama appeared at my hotel room, unannounced, uninvited, where we again ingested cocaine and I again performed fellatio on Senator Obama. Significantly, both the driver's telephone call to Senator Obama and his call to the drug dealer should appear on the driver's and Senator Obama's cell phone billing statements. In the fall of 2007, September 2007, I contacted the presidential campaign of Barack Obama to request solely that Senator Obama publicly correct his stated drug use record to, flect, <coughs> excuse me, to reflect his use of crack cocaine with me in November of 1999. I received a call from a male who identified himself as a Mr. Young, stating he was calling in regards to calls I had made to the Obama campaign. The first call was in fact an attempt by Mr. Young to obtain from me the identities of anyone I contacted concerning my 1999 allegations against Senator Obama. The first call shocked me in that this Mr. Young asked me why I had not asked Senator Obama to disclose the sexual encounters I had with Mr. Obama in 1999. I was shocked as I had never mentioned to the campaign.